This apartment is not big, but the space looks a lot larger than it is because there are no corridors. Here it's the... I see they also have like the alcohol. Well, I'm going to leave the fridge for the end. <laughs> With this flat, what you have is that you have like spaces and there's like divisions between them, but it's not very clear division. It's not like wall, room, wall. And then the fridge and the freezer too. <laughs> wow, you really packed a lot into one wall. Yeah, and it's, it's so useful because on the other side, there's the closet. So it's, it's useful on both sides. With this flat, you have like, there's a space there that it's a closet, there's the kitchen, there's the dining room, and everything is like united together, no? The proportions of the space made it a not very easy space to like put furniture on. With this proportion of space, for example, if we would do like an island kitchen, yeah. then it would take a lot of space and then it would block like this door. Instead, we did a very long kitchen here. You can work here and have like a lot of space to cook. But then here we have like this piece of furniture that on the one side it's the closet and then here it's also for the kitchen. And I don't know, here I think there are the dishes and, and things for the kitchen. I think here there's food, like a pantry. And I think here they have like, we prepared this so that they could have appliances. Because there's this space here that you could even put like a stool. You can like have the, like take out this in the morning, do the juice and just put it out here. And then it, it, there's not such like a lot of things here. Yeah, it's very minimal when you're able to just take yeah. it away, no? Uh, when uh, we arrived at this apartment, you came from the door, but instead of having this diagonal here, what you did is that you had to uh, go straight, then go to the right, and then a pass the room, and then you would arrive to this space. So we thought, this is really dark as it is, because these windows are towards the staircase, so there's not a lot of light. It's going to be much more interesting if we have this big space here that is available to receive light both from the courtyard and from the street if the doors of the bedrooms are open. So it's not, you decided not to make things straight. Straight, yeah. <laughs> taking down the existing walls, we saw that we had two large spaces. One was this one, and the other one is the one besides the window. And what we saw is that despite the fact that these spaces are quite big, they had very weird proportions. It was important for us to provide the users with like a nice movement throughout the apartment. And we saw that this was better achieved by um, putting things in diagonal a little bit. When you come in, you have a small entrance space and then you have this space with the cupboards for the clothes of the owners. The bedroom is not so big, but it has the perfect space for like a big bed, but it's, we couldn't have the closets here because otherwise this would have felt really cramped. It was always the decision to have the bedroom here and to enlarge it with this closet here which has like a very large mirror, which is important because when you come in, the first thing that you see is like a huge we, a mirror that is reflecting yourself and the space is enlarged. Yeah, this is the closet for the entrance with the, like, the coats. Closet. Yeah. Here I think it's his closet. And then here it's her closet. And then here, because they are musicians and she does a lot of concerts of classical music, so she puts her dresses for the concerts here, which it's a very long rack. And here they have the shoes and this bench here it kind of allows to like before going out the door just kind of putting your shoes on and moving out. Yeah. And the closets don't touch the ceiling? The, the closets don't touch the ceiling, yeah, because uh, we wanted to maintain this idea of like a large space. So if we had done the closets until the ceiling, the space would have been very divided. The, there used to be like a, a, full, ceiling? a full ceiling, yeah. So we, we took everything out and then we saw the, the balls. The clients in the beginning, they wanted to leave them in the ceramic color, but because this space is quite dark, if we had the ceiling painted in white, it allowed for the light to like kind of reflect and make this a much nicer area. So it was very important for us that the spaces were not seen like as a static, rigid rooms, 
but that the furniture allowed you to have some continuity between spaces. Here we have a small furniture piece that you can leave the keys. Then this piece of furniture kind of turns and goes up and turns to frame the entrance to the bathroom. And then it finishes in the window in the bathroom. And then we have another piece of furniture. The fact that this is fixed helps you to put the table in place. But uh, we have this piece of furniture here that starts here underneath the window and then turns into a sofa that also turns here and turns here and then it ends in the window. I think this is one of the most important parts of the project for us. And for us, this space was really like, you know, Rear Window by Alfred Hitchcock. It's totally like this kind of space because you have a lot of sides to your neighbors on the other side of the courtyard. So we wanted to do something that you could have like a siesta, like an app here. Our reading, there's like, they have books here because they read here and... Yeah, but if I, if I should, maybe I disappear, but... No, you know, like... <laughs> no, because I guess they, they just... The feeling is that um, because this is enlarged, you don't feel so enclosed in the, in the space. It's not a, like a narrow space, it's like a space that is getting bigger. The other thing that we saw when we came the first time, the bathroom of the flat was here. So it was in one of the most interesting places of the apartment. And we thought it's such a pity that this space, which has like the most light, it has the contact with the terrace and everything, it has like a tiny kitchen and a bathroom. So what we did is we moved both the bathroom here and the kitchen here so that we could have a very large kitchen because they like to cook. The apartment is not so big, it has like 60 square meters. So we were able to provide by putting the bathroom here to, to divide it in two parts. There's a, like a close, a door that you can close here and then you can, you have the, the toilet and the shower. It has like the uh, cupboard with the washing machine and the thermo for the hot water. And as you can see here, because there's the window up there, you can have like natural light during the day. But otherwise you can just turn this light on and it's beautiful because it provides light to the dining room here. Also it's really nice when you go out of the bathroom is that you have this circle up here like framing your exit. Like if you... Because everything is very uh, diagonal, we didn't want it to feel very pointy. So there's a lot of round things around the apartment. There's like this, we also have this here which is like a way to have this protected, this there, and also on the bench. Here, like the leg of the bench is also like a half circle. So we wanted to have these little accents that, it's, that are like popping around the flat and that make that everything is not so linear. We decided to use two different materials for the furniture. One is this plywood, it's called okume. And also the kitchen is in the same material. And then the other material that we used is MDF, pa painted MDF. So this allowed us to have like different splashes of color throughout the apartment, like this here, it's, it's green. Then here in the bathroom, it's like a reddish tone. And on the living room, we decided to tone it down and do like a more beige. In the end, it was done with not a lot of money, this flat. The materials are not super expensive. Like the MDF is not a very expensive material. Mm -hmm. And this plywood is not very expensive, but it's wood, you know? We didn't want to put like one of these materials that looks like plastic. I really wanted to have like a kitchen in wood because I thought it, would, it, it looked very good with the floor. This is the original floor. When there was a wall, all the pieces were broken. So we did not have enough pieces to put everywhere that there was lacking. So we bought a few more. We bought these old pieces and then we bought some new ones because we didn't have enough pieces yet. So we decided that we preferred to do a combination of the different types that we had. And I think it's really nice. Like you, you can see that they are like old because they are not perfect. But I think in the end, it's, it's, they knew that they were going to live in an old apartment. They didn't expect everything to feel like super shiny new. When we were doing the project, the idea was to put like, the, like a small dining room table here. But uh, this is the place of the apartment where there's like the more sun. And so the client said, OK, I would like to study here. So it's a generous space, like she plays the cello, which is a quite large instrument. She can do classes here. 
So the, the clients are both musicians. The thing is with this flat is that we have uh, lots of places to study. Like you can study here. If there's a larger group, you can move the table, like do a rehearsal more than study, let's say. And then he works in the other bedroom. Normally he is here doing like, it's kind of a more contemporary kind of thing. The thing with this apartment is that even though like the street is normally bigger than the courtyard, you have this thing that the street here is very narrow. So you have a lot more light and a lot more air on the other side of the house, which is the courtyard, which is like the interior. It's weird terrace because normally the terraces would be in this direction. Like you would have it in front of your flat. The weird thing that this one has is that it's on the other, on the other direction. So suddenly you can get a lot of distance from the, you can see your home from afar, no?